What's going on, Beaches? Welcome back to some Extra Thirsty. How you doing, Beach? Hi, how you doing, Beach? I'm back. It's your boy, Papa Swolio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button because I do a lot of stuff here on the channel. I'm quenching your thirst. I'm going live every day. We got Ask Papa Swolio live. We got all these things. Doing a lot of stuff every single day. Make sure you don't miss any single bit of it. Come on, don't miss it. You want to be here. Trust me, you're in the right place. You're in the right place, aren't you? Isn't that right, Tessie? Isn't that right? They're in the right place. You're looking sexy like a snack, by the way. You're looking good. You're looking good. I mean, if I do say so myself, and I do say so myself. Well, Beaches, let's get into today's topic, shall we? Let's put five on the mother clock. Let's put five on the clock, Beaches. Let's put it on. She's like, what the hell are you doing? Tess, don't talk shit. Do not talk shit to daddy. All right, we're going deep today. We're talking about Christy Harrison and her nonsense. That's right. We got more nonsense afoot. We always got nonsense afoot. I'm telling you, fam, if there's anything going on, trust me, if there's nonsense going on, your boy, Papa Swolio, has something to say about it. Trust me, I got your back. I got your back on the nonsense, on that nonsense, that sense that is not, that is non sense. Okay, well, we got some Christy Harrison nonsense today. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. She retweeted this, so it's not her. It's okay to be fat. The person's name on Twitter, the person's name on Twitter is okay to be fat. All right, are, 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 we, are we all on the same page? We got this? We got this? Okay, I just want to make sure you're strapped in for this. The person's name on Twitter is okay to be fat. <laughs> What kind of person? Who? Who? Who's like, hmm? Who? 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 who what, what should be my handle? When people want to follow me, what should they look up? Okay to be fat. Um, okay. You can't tell anything about someone by looking at their size. You can learn about... Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can learn a lot about yourself, though. Okay. Well... Let's look at this first. First, okay, the okay to be fat in parentheses. Of course, of course, you got to have she slash her. Well, no one asked. For that, that's that's frustrating. No one asked. Okay, if you're obviously a female, no one's gonna be like, or do you want me to call you a female? Do you want me to call you a she? If you look like a fucking she. All right. If it's something like, you don't even have your profile picture. Okay to be fat. She her. No one cares. Come on, no one fucking cares. I don't care if you want to be called him and a tiger. I, I don't give a shit. You don't even have your avatar. It's Twitter. Just post. Uh, you don't need to virtue signal in your fucking namesake. Literally. Okay to be fat. Parentheses. She slash her. Fuck. What's with this virtue signaling? You see how this intersectionality works? You see how it has to split hairs it has to it goes so many different layers if i talk shit about this post about obesity and fatness it's also about genders it's also about all these other fucking issues we get it we get it you're not happy with something we get it you're complaining we get it you want to talk about what other people think rather than actually help people we get it i get it i get it i know what you're doing here i know what you're doing tess knows what you're doing she you're not putting anything past tessie you can't tell anything about someone looking at their size. Well, you can tell if they're fat or not. This is the less the less popular opinion. You can tell if someone's fat. You can. You can tell and you can't tell anything about someone by looking at their size. Sure, you can. You can tell if they're large or small. You can tell if they are morbidly obese or they are emaciated and anorexic looking. You can absolutely tell a lot about someone by their size. You can tell a lot about because you can tell about their size. If I'm looking at someone's size, I can tell. If someone's morbidly obese, I don't think they exercise six days a week. If someone's morbidly obese, I don't think they eat really healthy. If someone's morbidly obese, I don't think they're healthy. And neither do neither do neither does science, and neither do facts. You can learn a lot about yourself, though. What you're talking about is judging someone. What you're talking about is prejudice, and prejudice is an ingrained trait in order to protect ourselves from predators. You want to judge things ahead of time because it might give you insights into maybe impending danger. The thing is, our society is so danger-free 
these prejudices that are inborn, these like paranoia feelings, whereas normally it would be, oh shit, what's in the darkness? Maybe there's a tiger over in the darkness. Maybe a lion's gonna eat my fucking face. That's what pessimism and paranoia does in the wild. But in this society, where you don't have danger because we have good law enforcement, because we have a societal structure, you don't have to worry about shit so people are turning their paranoia into other things. You can learn a lot about yourself, sure, if you're prejudiced and be like, you're a piece of shit, but you said nothing about that in your sentence. You can tell a lot about someone by looking at their size. You can infer a lot. And then if you learn more about someone, you might learn that they have a, a thyroid problem. You might learn like, fucking this, God, I didn't think I was gonna get fucking hot. I didn't think I was gonna get hot, Tess. I didn't think I was gonna get lit. I didn't think I was gonna get fucking fired up, but I'm fired up, fam. We're going OT. I'm fucking fired up. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 It's Papa Swolio, and I am hot. I'm lit. I'm Liddy McTitty. A Liddy McTitty from this bullshit. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm getting too hot. I gotta zoom out. I'm too hot. I'm too hot, fam. You know what the bullshit about this is? All these feelings that are getting hurt. Oh, oh you're so sensitive. Oh, your feelings. Oh, your feelings. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> There's nothing else to say about this. You can learn a lot. No one, you're stating the obvious but you're also not stating the obvious. You can learn a lot about yourself. If you are talking down and you are being rude to someone, yeah, it does tell you a lot about yourself. If you're being mean to someone because they're obese, the reason why I'm talking about these shit posts is because they're promoting obesity. Okay to be fat, it's not okay to be fat. Fuck you, if you're trying to create disease and perpetuate disease and crush the economy, with healthcare debt, which is already happening, if you wanna compound that, it's not good. If you want people to be more sickly, if you want people to have less fruitful lives, you want people to die younger, yeah, it's okay to be fat. That's a terrible thing. The intent of this post is bullshit. The intent of this post is harm. The intent of this post is disease. The intent of this post is nothing beneficial. This is awful. The person posting this, okay to be fat, you can tell a lot, you can tell a lot about yourself. You can learn a lot about yourself by reading what you fucking post. If you actually read about what you post, you might realize that you're saying some dumb shit. You might realize that you're saying fucking nonsense. You might realize that you're spreading disease. You're spreading death. You're spreading fucking sickness and just malaise. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to say that word. You're just, you're spreading melancholy. You're spreading issues. You're spreading problems. Spreading problems, Beesh. That's right, Tessie, that's right. You're spreading problems, Beesh. Of course you are. You're just spreading nonsense. This is bullshit. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. Fucking nonsense. What are your thoughts, fam? Drop a comment down below. Um, make sure you subscribe. Daily Swole live every day. Ask Papa Swole. You're red, white, and swole. Lots of stuff going down right here on the channel. Don't miss a single video. So smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you real soon for some more thirst quenching goodness. Say bye, Tessie. Say bye, baby girl. Say bye. Say bye. Bye, bitches. Peace. Skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm yeah. in my element, no Ollie's, you children popping.